Hello to all the Linux Dev viewers out there and uh, today we are discussing a first project management plan within Google Sheets. Uh, this is pretty interesting and relevant to all of you as uh, uh, in modern era each organization is actually falling towards uh, agile methods and in doing so you need to have a plan uh, prior to all the activities that you are performing within your organization no matter uh, whichever department you are in. So let's see how we can do it within Google Sheets and it's a simple and basic plan and uh, this can be done easily within minutes. So uh, please carry on and see how we can do it. Let's start uh, with a blank spreadsheet. Uh, make sure that the spreadsheet which we are using has the name according to our lecture or whichever topic you are using. For example, if you are making a project plan, you need to rename your spreadsheet according to that. So let me change the name to project plan. Every project has some uh, unique characteristics. So each project should have a project name, a starting date, an ending date or maybe an estimation date and estimated number of days for that project. We'll rename it as estimation. So it's simple. These are the four basic things each project must have. So let's uh, keep the name of the project as XYZ. The starting date uh, is maybe 1st of December 2019. Uh, make sure that uh, in the date column you are using the date formula. I'll tell you later why. The format is year, month, and then date. So 2019, 12,1. And let's do the same for the ending date. It's date. It's 2019, 12, 10. Let's keep it short. Now, uh, the purpose we are keeping the same format or using the same formula between the starting and the ending date is we need to calculate the estimations and uh, if we are using the same format the estimations can be calculated uh, easily by using the subtraction sign let's see how use an is equals to sign then select the ending date minus initial date or the starting date see it tells me that uh, the project will actually take around nine days let's uh, change uh, the background of this header and make it more presentable. You can do it uh, according to your ease and according to the requirements. Let's align it horizontally and vertically as well. Let's keep it within uh, border lines. Here it is. Now, the other things which you will have within your project is basically the project WBS or project tasks. So we'll name it as project task and we'll keep it simple. The start date of each task, the end date of each task, and the uh, number of days utilized within each task. This is all important and you'll definitely would like to keep track of all these activities within a project plan. So uh, as we are just uh, learning it, so let's keep it basic. The initialization phase, the middle phase, and the final phase. So these are the three phases or three project task names which uh, I have given here. You can always customize according to your requirement. Make sure that the starting date is actually the date when your project is starting. This is an ideal situation and you can always uh, customize it based on the changes which are happening live. So I'll keep it according to B2. Now uh, the end date uh, is dependent on the utilized date uh, within each task. For example, I think that this task will actually take around four days. Here it is. Now the ending date can easily be calculated through simple maths, which is uh, the start date plus the utilized number of days. Now the start date of the second project task is actually the end date or plus one of uh, the end date. Here it is. Now what you have to do is you have to keep the utilized days here as well. So let's keep it three. It's simple, use a simple mathematics, add the number of utilized days, and here it is. Same uh, will be done here, St end date of uh, the middle task plus one. And now you have to use the utilized number of days and the starting date. 
let's keep it two. So these are the nine days, four, three, and two. Now we would like also to track it uh, during the month as well. So uh, our project will start from the starting date, which is the start date of the project, and uh, the gap between days is one day, as we as we will be tracking each day the progress on each day. So now you can drag it down till nine days. Here it is. And you can change the format bit so that it looks uh, much more viable to the viewers. Align the text horizontally and vertically. Give it a different color. This is all dependent uh, on your project requirements or what uh, you would like to have. So this is simple and depends how you would like to see this. Uh, you can always change uh, how your text looks like. This looks much better. Let's keep the borderlines. So here is your task. Align it. And here it is. It's higher above this one. What you now uh, what you can do is I have to make this uh, cell look like this one. So I'll click here. I'll use this format painter paint format and I'll just click here. So here it is in the same format. Now, uh, we are actually tracking progress on daily basis. So you would like to input some uh, if formula, some conditional formulas with logical operations. How? Just start with the if formula and use the logical operator and. Why we are using and? Because we would like to compare if this date is greater than or is equals to the starting date of this particular task or if this date is less than or equal to the ending date of this particular task this will make sure that the project task lies within the utilized number of days so let's keep it on and in case the result is false there will be a space blank space so the reason why it's not returning the correct value is we are not using the bracket here. We'll use it. So we have closed the logical operation and now we'll close the if as well. Here it is, it's on. But we have to drag it down to all these rows, all these columns. In order to do so, we have to freeze the columns and the rows as well in both these arguments. Column and then row as we are dragging it down so it will give us correct results here it is so you can see there's no overlapping within these tasks and in in case you would like to overlap for example you would like to start the new task from the date which you are finishing you can always change the utilized number of days so it will change accordingly like for example if i'll say it's four you can see the changes there if i will say it's two you can see there are changes so it's pretty simple and the reason it's not overlapping is that we are always using plus one with the end date if i'll remove this plus one you'll see that there will be overlapping let's try and see how it will look here it is see the data is now overlapping but as we are preparing a demo sheet so we are preparing it on ideal condition so we'll start the next day once the task is completed but this is uh, actually text written all over the place within this table this is all okay this is a perfect project plan you can use it it can be made easily within minutes but uh, within grant Gantt chart or within a project plan you always would like to have some colors instead of text because it's actually the pictorial representation of your project so what we'll do is we'll select all this task we'll go to format and we'll see if we can do something with conditional formatting here it is it's conditional formatting and the thing we'll be using is if the cell is not empty let's color it green maybe or you can always change the color whichever you like here it is we will keep it done and here it you can see that uh, the text color the cell color is actually changed 
if you would like to make uh, the text invisible you can make the color same as of the cell now it's not looking so if I'm changing the number of utilized day you can see the changes within your project plan and same can be done here as well see changes are prominent and this is a simple project plan and you can easily use it as per your requirement I hope this is uh, something very informative for you uh, this is one of the major and most important things you all must be using uh, if you are working on any of your project uh, within any department please make sure that uh, if this sounds uh, like something informative to you you hit the like icon and subscribe to our youtube channel which is learner deck stay tuned and we'll be back with much more information thank you